Hello again, we're back from our break. And as you know, I'm with Harish Benamurti, our associate editor. And we are doing the first weekly broadcast from the IPP group in Noida. I would like to say an important story has come across our desk today. In fact, it's part of a story that I have been working on for the past 10 days. I have been working on doing an overview of our um, industry and manufacturers, etc., and looking at the viability as I do. I think I did a story like that about two years ago where I compared Heidelberg, Mandrolin, KBA, Komori, and RMGT as to what are their levels of turnover, profitability, uh, payroll, etc. So I've been working on that story, in fact, since quite actively since Sunday, okay. where I downloaded most of the information of most of these companies. And uh, I had, in fact, sent a query to Heidelberg on Sunday to uh, Hilda, a friend of mine there in the uh, press department. And so happens that before I've got an answer, a uh, press release has landed up in my uh, email box last night, which I saw this morning. And this essentially talks about the reorganization at Heidelberg to meet its uh, commitments as far as its um, outstanding liabilities of loans and actually to increase its prof profitability. Because as far as we have been able to understand and I have been able to determine, and I've spoken to some people in Heidelberg also who, of course, they're not allowed to say anything, but nevertheless have hinted that I'm on the right track. Um, <coughs> Heidelberg has a lot of its loan liabilities, of its restructuring, which has been going on for about 10 years. That has been postponed, some of those liabilities. From 2017, they were postponed to 2020, 2021, and now they are coming nearer. Okay. And it is very crucial for Heidelberg to show mm -hmm. that it is uh, viable, and also to its shareholders. As you know, it has a new shareholder as of last year, about a year ago, where the Masterworks uh, company based in China, a very big company in China known for converting equipment, uh, has invested in Heidelberg, has become at 8 or 9 percent, possibly the largest shareholder, but about at the same level of shareholding as Ferdinand Reusch, the former owner of Gallus. So Ferdinand Reusch and Masterworks are now the two largest shareholders of Heidelberg, as far as I know, each around 8%. So 16% of Heidelberg has now come into being held by highly motivated investors, people who don't want to let this company down and who are keen to get their money out of the company also, what they've invested, and are interested in maintaining the share price. So that's the story, the background of the story. What has come to us this morning is that Heidelberg has announced an action plan in which it plans to invest, I think, something like 300 million euros as part of the restructuring package. And to me, it seems the action plan, from what I have seen briefly this morning, has three components. The components are, one, that Heidelberg plans to stop manufacturing of its uh, B1 digital press, the Prime Fire the press that we saw two years ago installed near Heidelberg at its beta customer, and which has been sold to two or three customers around the world. But this press apparently is not clicking in the market as quickly and as well as it should. And where we were expecting to see a big battle between Landa's 40-inch press and Heidelberg's 40-inch digital press. Of course, Landa's is web-fed and is aimed at the packaging industry, while Heidelberg's is sheet-fed. Um, it seems that Heidelberg is retreating on its B1 digital Prime Fire Press. The press release says that they will wind down production of it latest by the end of 2020. So this could be any time or it could take a few months in order to deliver those orders they have on hand, but they are to some extent retreating and take away, taking away investment from that. So that's the first announcement out of three. The second component of the press release is that Heidelberg is moving away from, retreating from the manufacture of larger size presses, a program that it had begun, I think, under Herbert, um, Bernard Schreier, a program that I believe they had begun under Bernard Schreier um, 
where they have invested in a new factory in Weisslock to make these presses which are over 106 centimeter, that means 135, 145, 165, the, the very large format sheet fed multicolor offset presses. So they seem to be withdrawing from that and I would speculate that they are um, not doing well against the competition from Koenig and Bauer which is doing very well on the very large format presses and also possibly against uh, Manuel and Sheet Fed which is now owned by Langley and which is also in its own way um, uh, doing okay. The figures that I looked at last week or at the beginning of this week reflect that yes the, f the figures for all the manufacturers are down for 2019 or for 2019-20 but Langley seems to be still viable and still has cash in its hoard. It's not in debt as such. And um, similarly some of the other companies like uh, KBA and Komori. Heidelberg seemed to be the company that was in deepest trouble financially. And of course it's the biggest of them. It is the one with a turnover of 1.6 billion or 1.7 billion expected by uh, end of March while the others are in the range of 900 million euros or you know 1 billion euros or 850 million euros. The third point that is mentioned in this press release of this morning or last night apparently it was sent at midnight mm -hmm. last night um, is that the action package that they have um, launched uh, which has a non-recurring expense of approximately 300 million euros uh, in the 1920 year which will end on 31st March of 2020 is the global reduction in force in human resource by up to 2,000 jobs. So my view on that in case our readers are interested and you're interested it is uh, based on my experience and my uh, talking with these uh, the people involved and a little bit of my knowledge of the industry over the years is that out of the 300 million euros about 200 million euros will probably go to redundancies of 2,000 people. Mm. It generally costs about 100 million euro to let go 1,000 people in Europe okay. in these kind of companies. And because there are a lot of costs, there are a lot of um, costs as far as uh, benefits, healthcare and other things which is actually a very serious issue for most European companies that even if they seem viable, the other expenses for employees who retire, etc., are very, very high. So I think 200 million out of the 300 million euro will probably go to this, okay. if not more. Okay. And the other 100 million euro plus other funds that they have will probably go towards retiring debt and uh, improving the situation as far as 2021. Still what is not clear to me, and this is the question which I asked um, Heidelberg press people on Sunday night, Monday uh, by email, is what is the current status of employees in Heidelberg? Mm. Um, what, is, what was the figure as of 30th September 2019 or as of 31st December 2019? Does Heidelberg at, in, at any of those um, benchmarks at those points, milestones. Does Heidelberg have 12,000 employees today? Does it have 12,500 employees today? Does it have 11,000 employees? So what will be the in fact the net result of 2,000 jobs more being uh, declared redundant? That means will Heidelberg actually be below 10,000? Mm. Will it reach a level of 9,000 or 8,000 which is probably the desirable figure for the company to survive? Okay. So that's it.